Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial using alcohol inks and these Posca pens. I think these pens look great on alcohol inks and I wanted to show you a tutorial on how I use these pens on my alcohol ink art. You can also get them in loads of different colours. At the minute I've just got white but loads of different thicknesses in the white. I'm going to put links to everything that I use today in the description below so if you want links to anything just go and click on those. So to start with, what you're going to need is some Yippoo paper. I've got some here. This is size A3. I'm going to probably cut it into a square shape today. I've also got alcohol inks. The alcohol inks I use are from Tim Holtz, generally. I have a few others, but today I'm going to use these ones from Tim Holtz. So I've got quite a few different colours here from Tim Holtz and I'll go through them as I use them. You're also going to need some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. So I've put some in a small little container here um, and that's just if I want to kind of use it on little bits because it doesn't come out of here that well. I've also put some in a spray bottle. Yeah, so I've put some in here so I can also spray it on and that really helps when you're starting off. And that's it. You're going to want to cover your surface. I've just got some plastic um, covering here. So I've got my square there. My base colour, I think I want purples and blues. So I've got, this one is purple twilight this one is sailboat blue i want it fairly dark because i want the posca pens to show up if you do have gloves and you don't want to get your fingers covered in ink then put your gloves on at this point so i've got my isopropyl in this and i'm going to work quite quickly so if you just take off the um lids and i'm going to spray this sheet with a fair amount of isopropyl and then I'm gonna dot on the ink and just move it around quite quickly. So just gonna give that just a few dots there, some of the blue. Also have a ventilated room. I'm gonna open the window in a sec because it is strong and then I'm just going to move this around and because obviously you've got a fair amount of isopropyl on the page already it should work and you can just spray a bit more on and this is just to get the the background colours so I'm not too bothered like how it looks too much at this point. I just kind of want the page to be covered in ink. We'll come over there. And you can have like a bit of a bit of white off the edge. Well, that's fine. I'm happy with kind of the overall look of that. Again, it's just the background. I quite like this line effect that's going on actually. Okay, so there's my background. I'm going to wait for it to dry. Okay, so this is kind of how it's dried. I'm going to use this alcohol blending solution now, which is it's just the um, isopropyl. We want to create different shapes with the alcohol ink so that I can use them to outline with the pens. Let's try this pink sherbet colour and see if this looks good over here. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of isopropyl and I'm just kind of going to blow. Actually I've got a straw, this is going to this is going to work better. Maybe I'll just try and create one to the side here. Again just put the tiniest bit of isopropyl. Maybe I'll just carry on with this pink. And just again use the paintbrush to maybe help it make a shape that I want it to be. I want like a big, big bit in the middle. Okay, so my painting is dry, I've let it all dry, everything's good. So I'm going to start using my Posca pens. I have 
chosen to start with this fine liner because I think it's better to make a mistake with a fine liner than to use one of these thick ones and then you've made a mistake. So we can outline it with this one first and then we can go in thicker if we want to. To get these pens to start, you've got to shake them with the lid on, just like this. And then we can just use a scrap piece of paper and you want to keep dabbing on it until it starts working so it's working so I'm going to start by using this shape here because it's kind of already formed and I'm going to outline it for example like if I create a line going through it like that and then have little thin lines maybe going in the shape of pattern maybe. I am literally just making this up as I go along and it's completely up to you what sort of design you end up going for. Just doing a little design on these maybe I'll just do in the opposite direction. So I can use a thicker one just to thicken up maybe that middle line. And then maybe the other half I'll just do as like little dots. I could do dots and then circles around the dots. I don't really know what I've done here. <laughs> but anyway, that's an, another little pattern. I think I, I, I want to use like a thicker pen for this bit. Um, so I'm just going to thicken up some of these bits there. Yeah, that looks better. Create some thicker lines. Okay, so that's it finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really love these pens, these Posca pens, and you can get them in so many different colours and you can pretty much use them on most surfaces. Obviously, you've got to varnish it after, so I do have a video on how to varnish alcohol ink, so I'll put it on the screen now. But yeah, I really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all soon with a new video. Thanks guys!